Hello friends of the YouTube, how are you? So glad to be here today. Coach Miller Light here. Breakthrough in understanding today, a breakthrough in understanding. The teachings of Abraham, listening to it again today, out there in the sun after my 111th straight day of meditation, really noticing some powerful effects from this of the calming of the mind, quieting the mind, having myself sit there for 21 minutes every day for the last 111 days and quieting the mind, breathing and focusing and staying. It's really telling my mind, stay, you know, cause it wants to do stuff. It wants to get busy in life and we will get busy in life. But the first thing we're gonna do is stay and become still. And I, I notice it's starting to get easier. It's starting to get easier. Not every day is easy, most days aren't. I don't ever really want to do it that much, but as I'm doing it, I'm noticing a difference. This is one of the things that Abraham and their teachings highly promote, daily meditation. So uh, after my meditation this morning, I then went on to listen to the teachings of Abraham on YouTube, have my handy dandy notebook, and I have here something so impactful, a breakthrough in understanding. Abraham said, law of attraction, Right, we hear about law of attraction as being the number one law, the, the most powerful law in the universe, the most consistent law in the universe. It's around, right? There's talk about law of attraction. Now understanding it and not having it just be some lingo and some words that I use, but really understanding it is what I'm choosing so that I can apply it in my life and really live it fully. Here's what Abraham said on it today, different words than I've ever heard them say, and man, I love that. I love when they say the same point, but just in a little bit of different words, and it makes a little bit more sense to me, and that, pe that puzzle in my, in my consciousness, another piece goes in and I feel myself coming to a new level of understanding, a breakthrough in understanding. Here's what they said, let's get to it. <laughs> Law of attraction is not something for you to practice, and it's not something for you to use. It's something for you to understand as a universal response to your vibration. What you are practicing is your vibration to which law of attraction is responding. How powerful is this? Law of attraction is not something for you to use and it's not something for you to practice. I'm not practicing law of attraction and I'm not using law of attraction. Law of attraction is something for you to understand as a universal response to your vibration my vibe, man, right? Having this high flying vibe, doing what it takes each day, finding a way to string together enough events within my day and string together enough days with enough of those events, enough of those segments like meditation, exercise, sunshine, music, dancing, listening to the teachings of Abraham, listening to conversations with God, listening to Vlog A Million on YouTube, infinity broadcasting, having my attention on the higher, on the higher message on a feel good frequency. So they say, okay, they say law of attraction is not something for you to practice and it's not something for you to use. It's something for you to understand as a universal response to your vibration. Now what's a practice is my vibration. Practice my vibration. How am I gonna practice my vibration? Well, it starts being aware that I am vibrating, that I am a vibrational being, that we are and that when I'm feeling good, that good feeling, the high flying feeling, the exuberation and zest for life and woo, you know that? That right there is an indication of the vibration I'm offering. Emotion is indication of vibration. I heard Abraham say something really powerful about emotion. They said that they hear people say that if you have strong emotion, it'll help your creation. And they said, Emotion doesn't make your creation stronger. Emotion is the indicator of what you're doing with your vibration. So emotion is not making my creation stronger. It's the indicator of what I'm doing with my vibration. And my vibration is what the universal law, law of attraction is responding to. There's a universal response from law of attraction to my vibration. My emotion is my indication of what I'm doing with my vibration. It's the gauge. You know, in the car, I gotta have gauges, gas gauges, super, super helpful. Imagine if I just had to guess when I needed gas. My God, it would take up a lot of mental space. Jeez, what do I need gas? I don't know, how many miles did I drive? How long has it been? Gotta keep track of all of that. We have a gauge to keep track of it. So it lets me know, okay, my car needs some gas. 
The emotion is my gauge on my vibration. This is a breakthrough in the understanding of Coach Miller light. Come on, baby. All right, they said minus emotion equals split energy and you're not powerful. Plus emotion means there's no split in your energy and you are powerful. So why is this? You know, Abraham talks about this inner being and the more I hear about it, this inner being, the source energy, part of who we are right here. Here's this part of me out here on the leading edge, physically focused. And they talk a lot about this inner being and how the inner being is always joyful, always loving, is always holding pure to that high flying vibration. And as I'm hearing it, I'm realizing each day a little bit better that inner being, right? means us, it's who we are. This isn't some like off fairy tale land, higher power who we have no access to. Not only do we have access, we are it is what I'm hearing. This is exciting. Oh my God, now if I could just understand it. So I'm just gonna rinse and repeat the message, which is, which is what my plan is here and to light my path with understanding, a breakthrough in understanding. So when I have, why is the energy split? That's coming back to this point here. Minus emotion means there's a split in energy because that inner being part of us is always high flying. And when I have a minus emotion, it means my physically focused being here, right here on the leading edge of this physical Mary, Coach Miller Light, she's focused in a way that is not feeling good to her. Her thoughts are in a not feeling good place. And so she has minus emotion. So she's down here when that inner being part of who we are is high flying. So there's a split in the energy. Minus emotion means the energy splits. Now that high flying part, that inner being is always high flying. It's always feeling good. It's always love. It's always bliss. It holds pure and true to that signal. Now when I, the physical version self, the physical part, when I'm high flying now, there's no split in the energy, baby. And when there's no split in the energy, we are powerful. And so it seems like creating the manifestation happens faster because it does, because our energy is not split and we have more power in our corner. Pretty exciting news today. Very, very thankful to be here repeating this message over and over again. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you, people of YouTube. Yeah, baby. Knock on wood. How you like that? They say it. Knock on wood. I don't know. Is it? I think it's more of a skull, but we'll take it. Knock on that. Go ahead.